Hello everyone, welcome to my channel all about biology and this is Jyoti Verma and today we will discuss about how to write answers in exams especially at BSc, MSc and at B8 level. So most of the students get confused that how they can write their answers well so that they can fetch good marks. So here we are having some of the important tips and tricks so that you can fetch good marks. The first one is attempt all the questions because the paper of BSc and MSc is very lengthy. You have to attempt the compulsory questions, you have to attempt the unit wise questions. So you have to attempt all the questions here. It is very essential for you to gain good marks. Okay, you don't need to leave any question. So it is very essential that you should plan your time very well so that you can attempt all the questions. Next point here is length of the answers. It is very essential that the length of your answer should be medium. It should not be too short or it should not be too long. So for short notes you can write one page if you are having a diagram along with the short note or for the long question you can write five pages along with the diagram including the diagram. So that is the proper length of your answer that should be there during the exams. Coming to next point that is pattern of writing. So most of the students write uh, in different ways like they write in paragraph form or they write in points form. So it is very necessary to write answers in the form of points in the form of headings. For example, if you have to write a short note on microorganisms and its types, then you have to mention firstly about the microorganisms, highlighting its main important definition and main important keywords is very important here. Then you will come up with the types of microorganisms heading and then you will highlight all the types as virus, bacteria, protozoa, algae and fungi and then you will write the content within these headings. So heading wise answer writing is very proper or very good for fetching good marks. You should try to write answers in such a way that it should be contrasting, it should be visible to the examiner, it should be highlighted, it should be heading wise, it should be point wise. So it is very necessary. So for highlighting your answers you can use color pens like you can use the sky blue shade or you can use the black pen to highlight the important keywords of your answer but you cannot use green or red pen in your answer sheets okay that is very important point here and highlighting the content is very important point here because there are lots of copies that the examiners have to check so your copy should be presentable and your copy will become presentable only when you write answers like this you will write answers in paragraph form you will like write answers in heading form you will write answers by highlighting them with by using the boxes or by underlining the important keywords so in that way you can gain good marks okay that is very important here as you can see on the board here the main headings i have enclosed them within the box so it is visible to you it is more contrasting here so in this way you can write your answers by highlighting the main content by using color pens by highlighting the main contents by underlining them or by using a different color pen by using uh, by by enclosing them within a box so in this way you can make your answers more presentable and decorated so it is uh, very essential here. Coming to our next point that is use of diagrams, flowcharts and classifications. So it is very important at BSc and MSc level that if you are writing for a genus or for a genre, then it is very essential that you should mention about the classification of that particular genre. For example, we have discussed about the pogonatum, we have mentioned that the classification there. We have discussed about anthocyros, we have mentioned the classification there we have mentioned about the funeria we have also discussed the classification there at that time so it is very important to mention about the classification if you are writing about a proper genre and it is very essential or very important role of your diagram within your answers because the diagram should be suitable to your answer it should be well labeled and labeling should be on one side only okay 
and uh, if diagram is not available for your answer if there is only theory content available there then you can present your answer by drawing a flow chart also after writing the content you can draw a flow chart to summarize your answer so that would be more presentable and good for your answers and for gaining good marks okay so we are having our first sheet here that is of microorganisms so suppose you have to write a short note on microorganisms and its types then firstly you have to mention about the microorganisms by highlighting the main keywords and then you can go with uh, the types of microorganisms by making a flow chart like this and putting the details of it within the headings so in this way you can present your answer very well and it will be more effective in comparison to the non normal paragraph writing so coming to our next sheet that is useful impact of microorganisms so suppose you have to write about the useful impact of microorganisms then you can write it like this way you can put a heading here by underlining it or highlighting the main point here and then you can mention the details within this heading so this will make your answer more effective by putting your answers in this way like heading wise So here is our next sheet that is A B C model of flower development. And if you have to write about it, then you have to firstly mention about the scientist name here by highlighting or underlining the name. Then you can mention about the experimental plant, highlighting it also. You can mention later about the classes of genes and uh, about the categories of genes that are uh, present here. And later in the end, you can draw a diagram in order to make your answer. complete so in this way you can make your answers more effective by highlighting the content by using diagrams or flow charts at proper places so this is our next sheet of atp and its functions if you have to write a short note on it then you can mention it like this way and if you don't want to use color pens then you can use only black or blue pen in your answers to make it effective also and for writing your answers you should have the knowledge about the important keywords of the topic that is asked so here it is asked about atp so you should have the basic knowledge about the key terms that should be used about atp that is the full form of atp it is also called as the energy currency of the cell as well as it basically consist of adenine ribose sugar and the three phosphate subunits so you have to highlight all the key terms while using black pen so in this way you can make your answer effective So our next sheet is about the oldest classification of plant kingdom and if it is asked then you should have to make a flow chart here along with the important details below the headings so in this way you can mention your content by drawing a flow chart If we talk about the diagrams then the diagrams drawn should be neat and clean there should be one side labeling and the labeling should be sequential in order okay as in this way you can see here epidermis comes first then cork then cork cambium then cortex so it should be sequential and one sided labeling must be there within the diagrams so if you have to write about a genus then you should mention about the classification of the genus in the beginning of your answer that is very important and that is all about for today if you have any query you can mention on channel's comment section or you can mention on our instagram account or telegram page thank you so much